It's Knicks Celtics tonight up in Boston, Massachusetts. So let's talk about the state of the Knicks. And of course, we're going to break down the game with Knicks fan TV host Alex Jeteris. Alex, man, this team always stays up in the news, man. Always something going on with these guys. First and foremost, thanks for hopping on with us. Let's start talking about Quentin Grimes, man. He's been on my social media feed all week about what he said about his role and being on the short leash. So let's break this down from another angle. He's another role player to go public with his frustration. So in your opinion, you think it's Tibbs not putting his role guys in position to shine or to make plays? Or do you think that these role players just need to understand that, Dio, you're a role player. Do your job. Well, Brandon, first and foremost, thank you for having me on again. Always love chopping up the chopping up the Knicks with you. Uh, to answer your question about Quentin Grimes, I, I think it could be both of those things, right? I mean, you heard Tibbs talk about Josh Hart last uh, earlier this season and how he said, "Hey, you know, you're getting more usage. You're 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 so part of the offense. Uh, just go out there, be aggressive, and do what you have to do." And then the next day or that day for the same game, Josh Hart goes out there, has one of his better games, and he took advantage of every opportunity that he has. But you know. Brandon, not every player is the same. And I think for Quentin Grimes, even though you could say the same thing to him to say, hey, go t make the most of your opportunities, which he has to do. I also think that he's a type of player where you need a little bit of coaching saying, all right, Brunson, Randall, let's make sure that we get Grimes involved tonight. You know, let's have an, let's have an off ball screen uh, ha and have Grimes just curl around because he's been working on his off ball shooting, his movement shooting with JJ Redick this off season. I think he needs something like that, but it's somewhere in the middle. I don't think it's necessarily an easy thing, and I think it's also part of his teammates too because, look, you have guys like Brunson and Randall who are great in isolation, and sometimes they get focused in trying to just, you know, weed the team with their scoring. But I think it's a multitude of things. I think it's all those things put together where it's on Grimes to, you know, make the most of every chance that he gets. I think it's also on Tibbs to say, hey, let's call his numbers a little bit more so way he stays in rhythm. And let's also get Brunson and Randall more – aware that he needs that they need to find grinds i mean it, it can't be easy for a guy also let's, let's keep in mind brandon that he was averaging about 29 minutes last season he's now down to 23 so it's fewer touches stuff like that trying it's it's less time to get in rhythm so it's all those things like i said and, and it can't be easy for grimes but he's not the only one so do you think when it comes to the josh hearts when it comes to the ob top and all these guys who've kind of aired their frustrations out do you think that that's something that they should do go public with it or do you would you rather not hear about it because that player and tibbs work things out internally i think it go i think it depends on the matter of the situation right i mean what if you consistently talk to the coach in private saying hey you know this is how i'm feeling I think that's the way you got to go about it first. I always think you keep about it. I think you always keep it in house first before you go to the public yeah. to make it known. I, I like if they're talking to Tibbs saying, "Hey, I would like to be more involved in the offense." You know, I don't feel like I'm getting the touches uh, appropriately that I think I should be getting, uh, or I don't like the role that I have for this team. Then I and nothing happens. Then I think you got to do the next course of action, which is taking it public because, look, at the end of the day, these guys are in the league. It, it's not you know it's, it's they they could be in and out of the league very quickly yeah. Yeah. and yeah. these guys need to take as they they need to make the most of their opportunities yeah. whatever team they're on sometimes you're in a good situation sometimes you're not so if the coach is not responding to them saying hey this is what i need then yeah i think you have to go public and put that pressure onto the coach to go say hey i need to make sure i've taken care of myself and look look for obi Toppin, right yep. goes out to indiana i'm not saying he's any superstar but we see him thriving in that role. Look at Cam Reddish, another guy who's thriving in that role with the Los Angeles Lakers. So it's fine, but I think there's a way of going about it. You shouldn't necessarily go out to the media first and say, hey, I have an issue. I think you need to discuss it internally. If you don't see anything developing, then it makes sense when you go out and go talk about it to the public.